Hi everybody, welcome back. I'm Amy Thompson. I am the founder of The Finishers Club, the creator of Affirming Arts, and also the founder of Happy Now Dot Online and Amy Thompson's 30 Days to Happiness program. And um, I'm also an international best-selling author and artist, and there's a few other awesome things that I do. Homeschooling mom, all kinds of cool things. Anyways, I am here because I've got the Finishers Club workbook that is going to drastically change your life. And I want to walk you through what this book includes because it's just got so much awesomeness packed into it that uh, I have to do a couple training videos on it for you to really get the best use out of it. All right, so I covered a few things in the other one. I covered how to um, clear the items out of your mind and really go through what you need to get done in your life so that you can really clear the clutter and you don't have to have anything in your mental space and also you'll start to get you know on top of things in your physical space as well as being on top of all your to-dos, right? So this is an opportunity now for me to walk you through the meat and potatoes of this book so that you get to see how this process and this system can totally change your life, right? So this is just one of the planning pages. Every day, there's, these are the planning pages that come up daily, right? So there's, there's this, it's affirmations, positive aspects of, ideal vision for, you know, you can, you can see what's on here. And then after this, you've got like the planning, your appointments and the best actions to take, the things that are going to be giving you the biggest bang for your buck or the, the best use of your time. And then all the things you need to follow up with or, or take care of. All right. So let's walk through this piece by piece. Okay. At the very top, it says, today is a new day. I grant myself permission to let go of the past and become, or, and be complete with all aspects of it. I am free to create newly. It's so important that when you get up each day, that regardless of what you have to do, because there, there's often a lot of things that you've got to do or things come up, that you clear your mind and your space of all the things from before. Right? You can create newly with a fresh mind. Yes, you're going to end up having some things that have carried over, possibly. And yes, there are some things that are going to need to be taken care of, right? And you know that. However, you don't need to be attached to what did or didn't get done yesterday. This is an opportunity for you to really start from nothing, create fresh and brand new, and take care of what's, what's most important for you in this time, okay? So in the back of the book, there are affirming arts images. I'll show you those at the end of this video, but... Um, there's an opportunity for you here to write your affirmations. You can either come up with them yourself or you can color inside the affirmations in the back or draw and really just be able to come up with something that intrigues you, um, inspires you, something that's really going to touch you, touch you that day. Okay? And then what you're grateful for. And then here's where something very magical happens. The positive aspects of. Now, you can write anything in this space. Sometimes it'll be like my finances. Sometimes it'll be my parenting. Sometimes it will be my house. Sometimes it will be my business. You know, whatever it is that is on your mind that particular day, that's the topic that goes right here. Okay? And what's even better is it's very easy for you to just write the next topic down on each line of the same thing. So say that I'm doing the positive aspects of my home. Well, my home is really beautiful and spacious. You know, my home makes me feel good. I'm happy to be here. And people like coming over. Okay, so those are like positive aspects of my home. My ideal vision for my home. You know, it would be like my home is exactly like it is, um, except for it's all mine, right? Like right now I'm renting. So this, my ideal vision would be like, well, I own my home. And then another thing is that... Uh, my kids invite their friends over more often. Something, something that comes up that becomes my ideal vision. And then opportunities I'm becoming aware of for my home. So one of the things would be, oh, well, I can make some additional income to put towards the purchase of this house, right? Um, you know, whatever shows up, it's like, or if there's a neighboring family that just moved in, we can invite them over. So you go through this for each one, and then um, actions to further create the vision for my home, and it would be like, you know, go introduce myself to the neighbors, or um, take on this new income opportunity, and then conversations. 
to create my vision for my home. And then, so that would be like, um, welcome to the neighborhood would be a conversation. Or, um, you know, I have this new product or service that I'm selling. So whatever it is, it's going to be just right for you. This is for you to be able to just see opportunities that might be not visible to you right away, but just get clear on what the most important thing to you that day is and have the conversations and things laid out, okay? Uh, the prioritizing matrix, matrix I talked about in the other video, but this is another way to do it. It's like the things that need doing right now, you put here. Anything that you can delegate, very smart to do. And if you're not very good at delegating, you'll get very good as you go through this program because you're going to start to see opportunities for other people that would light them up as you start to start to do this. So they'd be happy, you'd be happy, and uh, and it's less thing on your uh, less things on your plate, and um, and it just makes things easier. Okay, these here, you know, you write things that say something comes up or you know is, is coming up, you need to plan for it. So you put that and anything that you need to drop. In the other video, we talked about things that are not going to give you a lot of impact uh, and they're, they're not going to be very valuable. So recognizing when something is something that you should drop is a very good thing. Sometimes I just write things down here that are just thoughts that I have. You know, If I have a thought that is holding me back or something that doesn't make me feel good, I'll put like just a thought in that spot. And then here's a chance to write three things that make you awesome. Uh, so you present yourself to how awesome you are. And this is for any notes that come up through the day. Right? Now, you're probably wondering, like, wow, it must take a long time to write all this stuff in the morning. But the thing is, you don't have to write every single thing each day. This is something that, um, first, you get faster and faster at as you go anyways. And the second thing is, this is a flexible system for you. right? This is designed to be flexible and adaptable and have all of the things in it for you. I personally like to do all of it each day because it keeps me in a very positive frame of mind moving forward, but, um, but you don't have to. Okay, and here's the planning part, okay? So you, you got the stuff flushed out of your mind, and then at the top you got your focus goal for the week. So whatever your main priority for the week is, um, you're going to put that there. My focus goal this week is such and such. My major goal today is going to be this. And if you write it as if it's already completed, like you're at the end of the day and you're looking back and you've already accomplished this, you put that there, okay? You recognize, like I said before, that success is 80% mindset and 20% action. So you're gonna write up to five things. Don't write more than five things because you can get scattered and lost. If there's anything additional that you want to do or you need to do, you can put under other stuff to do down here or you can put it in this part here which is what do I need to communicate request or follow up on so when I get up I end up I put my appointments in first okay just because it's easy for me to organize all my other stuff when I know what's going on so I put my major goal for the day I have my appointments here and then I put my actions my top actions then I write my little list of all the people that, that I need to connect with. And sometimes those are like, sometimes it could just be a couple people and sometimes this entire thing is full, depending on what I have going on. But uh, then I play games with myself to try to have, you know, fast conversations or um, but focused. And, and I still want people to feel good when I talk to them. So that's, that's key is keep your relationships good. Um, but yeah, you can go through here and if there's something here, Say I made my list too long and my day is kind of getting like, I'm not feeling great about all of it. I can put the, the letters O-N-A-T, which it means like omitted, not a priority. And then what I do is I put them down into the next days. Like whatever calls and stuff I don't get done here, I put here. I left these blank because since this is an adaptable system, you're going to write the days of the week down here. I will show you an example of what that would look like. I'm not going to show you all my other stuff. But this is, uh, this is one. So say that it's Sunday. And uh, so say today would be Sunday. Then on the bottom there, I would put Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. 
and I'd go across. That way, if there's something that comes up, say I'm on a phone call with somebody and they say, oh, well, let's connect Sunday. And so I know next Sunday we're connecting. And I can go over here and I can just write in, connect with, we'll call her Martha. Okay, so connect with Martha. And so I know for when I'm doing my planning for tomorrow, um, or sorry, I know I can skip ahead and I can just put that in Sundays. Okay, makes it very, very easy. Um, this is very important. These are the things, like I will honor myself today by doing what? Today I honored myself by watching a show that I really wanted to. I don't watch a lot of shows, but today I did. And then, um, so I'm looking forward to, I'm looking forward to hanging out with my kids later. Money to collect. A lot of times people will either focus so much on money they miss other things, or they're not focused on money so they miss collecting it. So there's money to collect and money to pay in each day, and then if you need to buy something. This is so you run, and this is places I add value to. So this is so you can recognize that you do contribute. Some days you might not feel like you contribute, but there are people and things and places in your life where you make a difference. So just to keep track of how awesome you are again. And this is what you want to be acknowledged for. Like today I want to be acknowledged for the fact that I just published my book. That's pretty awesome. So you just give yourself a little bit of praise and credit there. And then if you want to improve on anything, um, this is where I would put, you know, getting laundry done on time. Because I, I don't have all my laundry done right now. And then uh, resources needed for the future. So I need like an administrative assistant, for example. So I would put that here. And then as anything comes up in the day, like amazing ideas and insights, um, write them here just so that you can track them. Okay. So I'm going to end that video right here. Um, I'm just going to show you, like before I close out, I'm going to show you what's upcoming in the book. Every week you get a self-assessment. Um, and we'll go through this in another video, but this is so that you can, like, it's an overall view of how you did that in that week or in that time period. Um, you know, so you can be clear on what needs to be done and you don't go off in some rabbit hole in the wrong direction. Um, and then this is like memories and notes. People you met, things you discovered, times you had fun or felt good, um, the best things you got from your affirming arts, anything else you want to remember. And then if you could wave a magic wand and have any request granted, what would it be? So this is, this is key for you to be able to learn and grow, get your lessons learned, um, you know, help you get better at asking the right questions or doing the right things. And then, and then there's that. Okay. So again, this is a 31 day workbook. You don't have to do it week by week. It's adaptable. You can do it as you need it for you. Okay. The whole thing is designed to have you moving forward in your life, regardless of what you face in your life, regardless of what's there. It's designed to make you feel good, really honor yourself, really like look at the best things and, uh, and be able to stay on top of things as well. Okay. So I will talk to you soon and I'm going to um, record the other things in the other videos. Bye.